It's thought that the Kingdom of Axum was a continuation of a civilization which had existed nearby. That's where I'm headed now. Just 20 miles away is a town of Yeha. It could be the Old Testament world I've been looking for. In this ancient town is a pre-Christian temple. There were worshippers here when the Old Testament prophets were writing. Over here, there would have been an altar. And it's quite a deep well beneath the altar because there would have been ritual sacrifice here. This would have been a place in which the blood would have been allowed to drain. An important part of Old Testament Judaism was making offerings in the form of slaughtered sheep and goats. And this may well have been a bars where people would have come to cleanse themselves. I mean, this building suggests all sorts of things. Not much is known about the people who built this temple, but archaeologists believe this is the oldest surviving building in Ethiopia. And it predates everything that we've seen up until now. And the quality of this brickwork, it just belies the fact that this building is 500 BC. That means it's older than the Parthenon in Greece and centuries older than Rome's Colosseum. It echoes the Judaism of the Old Testament, the faith that the Ethiopian Orthodox Church claims was adopted here a thousand years before Christ. And it echoes what the Patriarch told me at the start of my journey. 